The thing about the GPUs is that they were not originally built for AIs and they are very good for training but when you think about inference they really have a lot of problems. There is essentially a mismatch between what GPUs are very good at and what we really need now and GPUs are just the only thing that you can do inference these days that's why more than 40% of the GPUs that Nvidia sells are used for inference because there is not much of an alternative in the market. But let's now dive deeper and try to understand why GPUs are so bad for inference. When we think about generative AI, the model spits out your answer token by token. And every single new token that's generated requires the model's weights to be adjusted every single time. So for large language models, so let's say a model with 70 billion parameters, well, every single token that the model generates can create up to 140 gigabytes of data movement. Again, for every single token in your answer. And the problem of the GPU's architecture is that the vast majority of the memory is uh, HBM, meaning it doesn't sit on the chip itself, it's off chip. So every single time you have to generate one token, which as we've seen, we has a lot of uh, data movement, 140 gigabytes, for example, then all of this data has to move from on-chip to off-chip. So from on-chip GPUs to off-chip HBM. And this is because of how GPUs architecture works. Essentially, GPUs are massively parallel and they really shine when you can batch a lot of data together. But when it comes to data movement, they are very inefficient because again, they have to move a lot of data off and on chip. You can really think of GPUs as a very powerful engine that is constantly waiting for the fuel to arrive. And this is essentially why only 5 to 7% of the GPUs is actually utilized during inference. It's because the token by token answer that you get, it's essentially a very, very small batch size the opposite of what GPUs really need, big batch sizes. But said simply, if you want to build an analogy, you can really imagine GPUs as a warehouse where all the items are stored very far from the assembly line. And if you have to work on big, large batches, that's fine because you can just grab a lot of stuff, put it in the warehouse and work it out. But the caveat is that if you have individual items that you have to ship constantly, like it is in the real time conversations with the chat GPT, for example, then all of the workers in the warehouse, they really spend much more time going back and forth taking the items to the warehouse rather than actually creating the product in the warehouse. And the result is that the workers spend more time on data transfer rather than actually assembly work. 